I'm just about to go to the gym and I couldn't think of anything I'd rather do less. But there, there, there. Hello, it is the Monday of week 14. Yeah, Monday of week 14. I'm just home from work. I'm making dinner. Been so good today. I was really bored at the weekend as per but um, I've just been thinking and I realise I'm kind of taking the piss with my shape meals. I know you're allowed to take meals and you're allowed to wee treat the odd time but I'm realising I'm slowing my own progress down. So New York on the 1st of November to see Neve and I cannot wait and I want to be in really good shape by then. I want to be able to like just, you know, you just want to go on holiday. Even if you're not in a bikini, it's going to be November in New York. I'm not going to be walking around in a bikini but you want to go and feel brilliant and not have to watch what you eat and I just want to go and eat what I want and drink what I want and have a really good time but I want to really enjoy it and I've really earned it. So Monday night's dinner. Um, it, this is my go-to cod fillet with garlic and pepper from Little, uh, some chorizo with some sweet corn and some garlic granules and uh, some broccoli florets. Afternoon everybody, it is Tuesday of week 14, I still can't get my head around that. And I am just going to make some dinner, a fancy kind of like winter food. So I'm going to have vegetarian sausages, cauliflower mash, and I'm going to make a red onion gravy out of basically blitzed onions and balsamic vinegar and black pepper. I've tried it before and it's usually been nice, so that's what we're going to do. So just going to fry one large white onion and two small red onions with a little bit of butter and a little we bit of garlic. Just put in those balsamic vinegar and beef stock, and we're going to let that boil up and reduce way down. And going to blitz about this much of it and leave these little onions as floaters. Is take out a spoonful of these onions and one more spoonful and pop the rest in the jug and this blitz it up. And my cauliflower florets. I'm going to make some cauliflower mash, a bit of butter, a bit of salt and pepper. This is the first time I've made this so we'll see how it goes. This is the end result. Cauliflower mash, peas, vegetarian sausages and my gravy which is amazing recipe coming soon on the blog. I am currently in the gym. It is leg day. I'm actually really struggling for motivation today. I'm just finding things Ooh, on the head of doctor now. Find it a little harder to push myself this week. I'm not really sure why. I think it's because I need to sleep more. But getting this bad boy done. I just realised I've had my hair in the same hairstyle for like three days. I have taken it down and brushed it and washed it in between, just so you know. But um, I'm just in from work. I'm at the gym this morning. I had a frappuccino today, like one of those Starbucks smoker bottles, because I was like, I need something sugary, I need something sweet. That was time in the walls. I am so bloated. It's ridiculous. Milk just, it's the first time I've had milk, apart from like a splash of my tea in ages. So honestly, I feel like my stomach's just like. <laughs> so I'm making, um, I need to get my protein count up today, so I'm making a chicken based pizza thing so I've put Nando's medium spice on this and I'm just gonna roast it in the oven until it's cooked through and then I'm gonna make like a pizza topping and put pizza toppings on chicken. Okay so what I've got here is red onion, sweet corn, leftover Mexican chicken from the area in the week and some chorizo. Throw that in there and this is gonna make my pizza topping. So I've got in this pan is garlic puree, red onion, bit of chorizo, sweet corn and I'm going to throw in the leftover Mexican chicken from earlier and then that is going to be my pizza topping with cheese. Okay, so here we are. So this is my pizza topping mix. So we're just literally going to spoon that on top of the chicken. Like so. When you get loads left over actually, so that'll make some kind of something for lunch tomorrow. Woohoo! It's going to be good. And then a little sprinkling of cheese. Ow. So this is the finished product. So this is a cracker for protein because it has pinto beans, chorizo and chicken and a bit of cheese as well. Definitely, like I've been thinking about pizza all day so this is definitely going to kill that cracker. So it is taste test time. Does it taste like pizza? Because I have been thinking about pizza all day. Yep. Does a job, kills the craving, no carbs, nothing bad. The only thing bad in it is the cheese. Unless there's only 25 grams of cheese in it. So we're good to go. We are good to go. Good morning. It is Thursday. I have a lion today and I feel so good. I think I'm gonna have my rest day today. 
because I can't bother going to the gym today. I've been yesterday and Wednesday and I'm going tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. So five days a week is enough, I think. For now. For now. Um, I had the best dinner ever last night. It was the nicest thing I've ever had. Probably the nicest thing I've ever made. It was like a chicken based pizza. And oh my God. Because I could not stop thinking about pizza and chocolate yesterday. So I had a twirl last night because you know, it was always my thing, right, okay, I'm gonna have my chocolate at the weekends, and then it's kinda like, hang on, just have it when you're craving it. I have it one chocolate bar a week, if that, and only when I'm craving it. And yesterday, I mean, it was just like a wee conveyor belt of twirls going across my front brain, so, had that last night, and it was so good. But that's me, just about doing the work. And, um, still haven't got my eyebrows done, need polished, I need to get to you, but I need to get home. I'm just too busy. Good morning everyone! Yes, again, it is another bond day. I'm just struggling with motivation for everything this week. Um, I slept in until 10 to 8 this morning, which I haven't done in five weeks. So, um, yesterday was my rest day, so that was fair enough, but I feel like absolute shite. I feel like absolute poo. So I'm gonna have to make up for it with the weekend and train Saturday and Sunday morning, which I was intended to do anyway, but I just feel like, ugh, I should have got up for that. Um generally feeling a bit. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is Saturday, I'm down at my mum's and I've got this little weirdo. Milo. Say hi. No, no, no interaction whatsoever. But you're gonna help me do hill sprints. Must you? Must you really? Must this be how I ate my breakfast? Right, so this is probably going to be the most honest I've ever been in since I started diet starts on Monday. And my voice is shaking because I'm crying. I've just tried on loads of clothes and loads of dresses and... But, to be honest, um, I've been really ripping the piss out of cheat days. I've been taking the piss. But stuff like that, I've been going out for too many dinners. And fair enough, like I know you have to have a life and I know it's been a hectic few months and stuff's been got on and everyone else is telling me not to beat myself up and all but I'm just so fucking annoyed. Like I just feel like I should be way further on than I am now. God it's amazing what a bit of makeup can do. Um right so I feel a bit better. Um just absolutely raging myself that I have let myself go. Not let myself go but I haven't been working as hard. I haven't been pushing myself as hard. I just don't feel I feel like shit. That's just it. I feel so like vain God. over your weight and all up there, but sometimes it's just fucking, it's just really hard. Like, I don't think anyone realizes how much it can be wrapped up in your self esteem. A kind of dress fits can, like, make you this upset is ridiculous. I feel like I'm, re I just, I just feel like I'm really feeling like. <laughs> There are people out there who are messaging me saying that I've inspired them and stuff like that and I just feel like I've really let them down. Yeah, it's Sunday evening of week 14 and um, I just went to bed. Um, yesterday was a wee bit tough and I tried on loads of clothes and as you see, I saw um, they didn't, they were, some of them, most of them were fine but it just really knocked my confidence for six. Um, chip in the background. <laughs> um, really not my confidence for six. Um, the fact that just wasn't making much progress. I felt like I should be further on. So um, I posted a wee thing on Instagram just about how oh, sometimes it does get hard and stuff. Just trying to keep it real. Show all sides of it. And I got some of the nicest messages and comments from people I knew. People I didn't knew. It was people I didn't. People I knew. No. People I know and people I don't know and it was just so nice. Honestly, thank you so much for all your lovely messages. If you're one of them people who liked, commented, messaged, subscribed, whatever, it was just lovely. Thank you so much for all your support. You're such a pack of legends, really. You just put the biggest smile on my face ever. Thank you so much. Um, so just kind of put my phone down and had a really good night with my friends and stuff last night. And I've had a really chill day today. Um, I'm having some real technical issues with uh, getting this week's vlog uploaded but there we are and um yeah so
So going into week 15 tomorrow, going to the gym tomorrow with Amy at 6am and really gonna kick things up a gear and let's smash week 15.